Hey guys, Maven here. Now, ever since I started this channel, I've been noticing the comments. And I'll tell you, for 95% of them, they're so encouraging, so supportive. They put such a smile on my face. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But we all know the 5% of mean ones, now they're the fun ones to react to. So guess what? That's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Reacting to the mean ones. What a douchebag. <laughs> I already love the way this is starting. His way of telling how much he made was by actually getting the money out of the bank and show it, which again, if you think I have $800,000, just not even lying around, but in the bank, sure. Congratulations on your mid card career. Hey, thanks. And be sure to thank, be sure to thank the real headlining superstars who earned you that money. Well, I'll be, I will, I'll make sure to thank them for earning me that money because, hey, I was a mid-carter. And I've always admitted I was a mid-carter, but there's no way to start a wrestling show off and go straight to the main events. There has to be the middle matches, so I don't know. Maybe they should be thanking me. Hey, just another way to look at it. Maven, the dollar store Chinese, the rock ripoff. Dollar store Chinese, the rock. I don't even get that. Listen, I would be more worried about if you told me that I was ripping off rerun from what's happening. I mean, the fact uh, people always say it, Maven, you think you're the rock. I look at my bank account in Chase Manhattan each and every day if I do begin to think that. So the fact that you compare me to the rock, I never did it, you did it. I'll take those, I'll, I'll take that all day long because I'll tell you what, there's way, way worse people to be compared to. Does this guy always have to impersonate The Rock? Jesus, you would think Maven would just be on, be his own man by now. Okay, all right. Just for you, Jerry Wick 7769, since I always impersonate The Rock, how about this? I will go out of my way to be as unrock like as, per, as, as I possibly can be. And I'm gonna read your question. Does this guy always have to impersonate the rock Jesus? You would think Maven would just be on his own man by now. Imitation being the most sincere form of flattery. I think even if you asked him, you know, he's probably happy that people want to impersonate him. If I do it, it's not by design. It's just, I looked up to the guy. What am I gonna do? But thanks. I never dug you, Maven. Maven with an I. Wow. You always seem like a boring version of, eh, here it is, there we go. Boring version of The Rock. And try hard, Uncle. Uncle capitalized, so I'm obviously his uncle. I never wish I had, oh, I'm the, I'm the uncle he never wished he had. Well, news flash and be happy. You still don't have me as an uncle. But again, another person that says I am a uh, boring version of The Rock. You're watching. So how boring am I? <laughs> Laugh out loud, bro. Says he who holds Eddie dearest to his heart, but won't mention the match that Eddie was helping him understand. Laugh out loud. Maven is so full of it. All right. You're obviously talking about when I was uh, doing my rating of the wrestlers. Now, the reason I didn't mention the match that Eddie was helping me out on, it's because I obviously, I, I don't remember. If I did remember which match it was, I would have definitely uh, mentioned it. But I also think Eddie was just bringing up ways I could get better in general, not just for that one match and not just for that match that he saw that night. I'm sorry, I don't remember a lot of the matches that I had in specific cities or whatever. This just sounds like you just hate me as a human being, so, but that's fine, I'll take it, get in line. In fairness, this one's not mean. And I actually agree with you. Sounds like Sean was trying to help you to be fair and wanted you to become the first Maven instead of the second Rock. Now, this comment is obviously referring to my rating of the wrestler, the first one I did, and I agree with you. I think he was. He could have been helping me, but I didn't take it as him trying to prolong my career or trying to help push my career along. But I will give you credit. I do agree. I agree with this one a hundred, a hundred percent. Safe to say he hates Cena. No, actually, no, I have nothing but respect for John. John and I were never close. I mean, we would you know be cordial, obviously in passing. And I could not be a bigger fan of what John has become. And I think I even said it in my, in my video, 
I don't think there's ever been anybody, maybe besides Austin, who was better at marketing themselves than John. You know, John has literally turned the armband industry upside down. He resurrected the jean shorts industry. John is on the moon. I'm underneath the, the earth. Our careers could not have went in two different arcs. I have nothing but respect for John. However, I dare you to watch his match, watch him throw a punch and tell me it looks good. Tell me it looks pleasing to the eye. But, John, I love you, buddy. And here we have another comment from my rating WWE wrestlers video. That really, it really got to you guys, didn't it? <laughs> Maven rating Cena's work is like a deadbeat dad giving out parenting advice. Really, Maven? <laughs> and then the... I don't think Cena was a great a great wrestler when it comes to his movements. Now, was Cena amazing at knowing how to work the fans? Absolutely. I told you, I'm gonna give you completely open and honest advice. I'm not trying to tear anyone down, but I'm gonna tell you how I feel. If that's, if that's not your particular brand of vodka, there's other channels I'm sure. I'm sure there's right now there's a cat video somewhere of a cat playing a keyboard or a puppy dog doing something cute. That might be more your speed. From Big Ray Hernandez. Hey, Big Ray. The minute you said in this video that you would love and agree with John Oliver, I immediately unsubscribed to your channel because you lost all my respect in two seconds. Peace out. Now, this is referring to my, uh, the video I did where I was responding to John Oliver's Last Week Tonight clip. And I'm gonna assume that's politically motivated, your comment there. If you see a person or if you hear something that maybe doesn't agree with your political leanings and you immediately leave and unsubscribe, well, hell, you're not the, you're not the person I want in the first place. I always wanna see both sides of every angle. I don't want to live in my own silo where I'm only, only bringing in what I agree with because I don't think we grow that way. I want information in life, not affirmation. And I want everyone, whether you're on the right, the left, or down the middle, we're here to discuss wrestling. I just hate the fact that you saw one thing about something. It doesn't even have to be my video, just about life in general, and you immediately was out. Be open. Be open to hearing you know, opinions that you might disagree with. I have no problem hearing from people that I, that I think have it all wrong. Because you know what? They might say something that I'm like, you know, they have a point there. At least I'm open to it. You weren't a superstar. You were straight ass. Well, I gotta be honest. I never said I was a superstar. I never claimed that I was a superstar. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even know where you got that idea from. I'm the most down to earth guy you'll ever hope to meet. In all seriousness, the, the, the name superstar, that, that came out years ago. Vince, Vince McMahon always wanted his wrestlers to be seen as larger than life. Um, he wanted his wrestlers to be viewed as almost superhero style uh, figures. Now, when I think of a superstar, I think of Brad Pitt, George Clooney, in our business, The Rock, Austin Cena. I don't put myself in that category. In fact, I'm the most, literally, the most rational, down-to-earth guy that you could ever hope to meet. I only say superstars just because that's the moniker wrestlers have been tasked with for years, a lot longer than before I got there. Now, if that bothers you, I apologize. Not my doing. Blame Vince McMahon. <laughs> if you like this, check out this video where I answer Google's most searched WWE questions.